The French Navy has officially dismissed the report aired by Pakistan's GeoTV as misinformation and disinformation, calling out the recycled and fabricated claims about Rafale jet losses during the India-Pakistan conflict. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is undergoing its biggest restructuring since 1964, with the Ministry of Defense appointing Boston Consulting Group to submit a restructuring plan by March 2026. The restructuring is not aimed at breakup or privatization, but to improve speed, customer responsiveness and competitiveness, as private players enter fighter jet manufacturing. The 100 km range go Raflong range glide bomb has completed its trials from the Su-30, and the deep strike glide bomb is moving steadily toward induction into frontline squadrons. Bengaluru-based Komru Aerospace has unveiled its micro-drone named Kaza, that is built for accurate low signature reconnaissance and precision strike missions. India launched an export offensive at Dubai Air Show 2025, positioning the Astra Mark 1 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile as a plug-and-play replacement for the aging Russian R-77 missile on Su-30 MiG-29 and Su-35 fleets worldwide. The RDO officials have confirmed that delegations from eight countries spent significant time at the Astra missile exhibit, requesting integration and pricing information. The Indian Air Force's Super Shukhoi has received a newly designed indigenous aerodynamic nose cone V, that enables installation of the RDO's V Rupaksa radar. The new nose cone V has completed wind tunnel testing at National Aerospace Laboratories, and has now entered full-scale electromagnetic and structural validation. The DRDO has issued a request for information to select a development come production partner for liquid fuel RAN jet engines, and 14 Indian companies have been shortlisted to bid. The liquid fuel RAN jet engines will power India's next generation supersonic cruise missiles, and this development come production partner model aims to enable high volume production for future long range supersonic strike systems. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a 100 crore rupees tender for developing a new electromechanical actuator for the AMC canopy, an essential system that seals the cockpit, supports ejection, and maintains the fighter's stealth integrity. Bharat Dynamics Limited is upgrading its assembly lines ahead of a 5,000 crore rupees order for 700 Astra Mark II missiles from the Indian Air Force, a move that will shift India's missile production from low-volume batches to full industrial-scale output. After the first 700 Astra Mark II missiles with 160 km range, the Indian Air Force will order another 500 Astra NG missile featuring improved seekers, larger no-escape zones and range extending toward 250 km. Military analysts believe that the idea of procuring the Su-57 is now outdated and unnecessary for India. Even if a deal were signed in 2026, Indian Su-57 would not arrive before 2029, almost the same timeline as the AMCA. Analysts also point out that the AMCA has already pulled ahead in technology, with an indigenous 120 kN engine expected by 2033. They also added, that the AMCA Mark I equipped with indigenous sensors, advanced electronic warfare suite and Astra Mark III missiles would overall be more sophisticated than a hypothetical Indian Su-57. In their view, India needed the Su-57 in 2010, but does not need it in 2025. Military analysts note that while the Russian Tu-160M is expensive, it is far more modern, and has a longer service life, and Moscow is willing to integrate Indian weapons such as Brahmos to hypersonic missile. In contrast, the American B-1B may initially seem cheaper as a retired platform. But India would end up spending massive amounts on life extension, new avionics, heavy maintenance and dealing with US controlled software, with almost no chance of integrating the Brahmos too. Analysts also point out the B-1B's long history of low availability and high upkeep, whereas India already operates several large Russian platforms, making the Tu-160M far easier to support and sustain in the long run. Today's top 3 comments.
Oh, Mark, drop it. <laughs>